Hey, what's up? It's Rob here. Today, I want to share with you a test that I'm going to be doing starting today to see whether or not creating and uploading native videos every single day for the next two weeks is going to increase my profile views, my post views, and my search appearances. Before I get into sharing my screen and sharing the parameters of this test, a couple of quick announcements that I want to share with you as well. First, this is a test that I'm going to be doing on LinkedIn, but you might be seeing this video on YouTube, on IGTV, or maybe even Facebook and Twitter. And that's because I am totally repurposing this content. Second, I'm going to be using my channel for the purpose of this test. So if you're going to be doing the same thing and trying to do the same test on your channels, the results can vary. I just want to say that because Hopefully, your results are better than mine, but they will probably be very different. Third, this is a two-week test, but the only caveat is that I'm not going to be posting on the weekends. This will likely skew the results versus posting every single day. That has a lot to do with algorithms and momentum of posting. I'll get into that as we go on, but I just wanted to make sure that you understand that in case you don't see a video from me on the weekends. It's not because I gave up or stopped the testing or anything like that. I just choose not to go on LinkedIn on the weekends. It's a work-life balance thing. It's definitely a choice that you can make as well. If you're posting every single day, it's not necessarily a good thing. It depends on your engagement. And again, that's something that I will speak on as we go on with this test. Also, two quick announcements. First thing, Thinkific now has LinkedIn Live. Woo! You're gonna be seeing some live content coming from the Thinkific LinkedIn page, the company page. I wanna say big thanks to my friends at LinkedIn and also Gage Vandentop, who is the co-founder at StreamYard for putting in a good word for us. I just ran a quick test by going live with Thinkific company page on LinkedIn this morning and it went super smoothly. So stay tuned for some more cool content coming from the Thinkific LinkedIn company page. That's a very big mouthful. Also, second announcement in partnership with Brian Shulman, who you might already know. He is one of the OGs inside of LinkedIn. He doesn't work for LinkedIn, but he probably should almost be working for them at this point. Um, he is one of the OGs. He's been creating content on LinkedIn almost every single day for the last 15 years. We have just launched our course together called the LinkedIn Power Up Masterclass. We'll be covering LinkedIn basics, content strategy, video strategy, community and engagement, LinkedIn videos, LinkedIn live, and everything in between. Live classes are gonna be starting from October 7th all the way to October 11th. It's gonna be all recorded as well in case you miss it, but you can click the link right above or below this video to get more information and to register. Okay, so now for the challenge. So the challenge is gonna be for the next two weeks from September 4th to September 17th. I'm gonna be posting one daily video every single day, part vlog, part tutorial, part update, part behind the scenes of my day working at Thinkific or at events or workshops or everything in between. So I'm gonna be posting one native video every single day. At the end of the challenge, I'm gonna be sharing all the stats and all the numbers and how that all worked out as far as page views, profile views, and also my search appearances organically. Also, I'd love to continue making daily videos after the two weeks, as long as they're bringing value. So this is something I'd really like to learn is what is the sweet spot of the length of videos, the frequency of posting, all those intricacies. I'll also be doing some tests on using captions versus no captions, sharing my screen or just talking head like this and report back to you as much as I can throughout the two weeks, but definitely a big roundup video post at the end of the two weeks of all the things that I've learned and came away with. I'm gonna be super transparent with you and sharing with you the stats and the numbers. I always get asked to like, hey Rob, how often should I be posting videos on LinkedIn? In general, my answer is more videos, the better, especially on a platform like LinkedIn that really loves videos. Algorithms love videos on LinkedIn. They're trying to get on top of videos by releasing live now. If you notice, you're gonna see a lot more videos on your feed from the people that you're following. But there's a big, 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 big but is that if you are posting a lot of videos, you need to still make sure that you're delivering value, not just taking up space on the feed. More importantly than the number of videos that you are posting is the engagement and also watch time. Now, if you are posting a lot of videos, but the watch time is very, very short, meaning people are not watching your videos all the way through or even a majority of your videos, if you are not getting 
long views on your videos and engagement on your videos, then LinkedIn sees that as a weak video. I'm going to say it. There are weak videos. There are a lot of content creators that I see that are just posting things that really bring no value. And that's fine. I totally understand that. You know, we are all experimenting and testing what kind of content, what kind of formats work on LinkedIn. But you need to make sure that you are bringing value to the videos. Now, LinkedIn and all the other platforms, YouTube included, Facebook, Instagram, want to make sure that the watch times are long because they want to make sure that their viewers are staying on the platform for as long as possible. When viewers are staying on the platform, then that means that they can then monetize that viewer for longer. They can run ads to that viewer. And also, it means that that viewer is not going off to a competing platform. They're staying on LinkedIn and not going to YouTube or they're staying on YouTube and not going to Facebook and vice versa. So it is a competition. You need to understand what the platform wants to accomplish at the end of the day and where you fit into that equation and where your videos fit into that equation. Post as many videos as you want. At this point, at least post one video a week. That way you are top of mind, you are consistent. If you're just starting out, Keep them to 90 seconds or shorter on LinkedIn because there is a shorter attention span versus say YouTube. People that are watching YouTube videos are in the mindset of binge watching. People that are watching videos on LinkedIn are not binge watching. They're typically on coffee breaks, they're commuting, they're scrolling really fast. You gotta make sure that you are using captions for example because a lot of people that are watching videos on LinkedIn have the volume off. So these are some quick tips that I just want to share. I don't know how I ended up here talking about that, but I just want to share that with you. So there you have it. That's video number one. See you tomorrow. Make sure that you connect with me on LinkedIn or Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel or all of the above. You can find all of the links above or below this video in the captions or in the description. See you tomorrow for video number two. With the influencers that we work with, we're not just like, hey, here's some, you know, here's a free account or here's some swag, go post. Uh, we'll typically do other things, co-marketing, we'll co-create content with them. Um, if they're doing an event, then we'll sponsor that event, we'll fly down, we'll do those kind of things. Um, so, so we're more like, more relation, you know, relational in the way that we approach.